Hello YouTube, my name is Chris Taff, and today I'm going to be bringing you through the brand new State of Decay update, version 1.2, which comes in at a staggering 19.5 gigabytes. This brand new patch addresses three things that the game has needed now since release. It has increased its stability and network, the way the player reacts with the environment, and the way the players react with the vehicles. Examples for gameplay include instances where the grenade would explode in front of the player after being thrown, or the grenade would simply throw away from where you're aiming. For example, if you throw the grenade directly in front of you, it'll fly off to the left or behind you. The issue with the flashlight would go off the player model and give extra shadows off, leading to reduced frame rate. Doors appearing in the state that they are not, for example, open door seeming closed and then closed doors being open. Another example is one where the legacy for the Warlord and the Sheriff will not activate, ergo you can complete the game or proceed in the storyline. When it comes to networking, they've vastly improved the capabilities of the game. For example, they've now made the servers more stable, leading to reduced lag, and the person who hosts the game, that your, their facilities are not available, so you could not get into their supply locker, you could not use the workshop or their infirmary. In terms of zombies and character behaviour, Zombies are no longer immune to the assault kick, which is a problem that I've had as well before. They've also adjusted the collisions for people on foot and in vehicles across all three maps. They've also finally fixed the glitch where you will fall through the floor and you will appear in an infinite freefall animation. They've also addressed issues where you cannot climb over things that you should have been able to. For example, a low fence, you couldn't climb over that, you had to go around. And now finally, they have changed the way the lighting reacts with the player and the vehicles and the environment instead of it casting extra shadows which will make the frame rate reduce. If you want to read the patch notes for yourself, I've left it in the description down below. I hope you can excuse me for the way my voice is sounding, I'm just not used to this at all. But if you did click on this video and you have watched it, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you find this, these tips useful. Please get that update downloaded as fast as possible because 20 gigs is quite a lot. Thank you very much for watching, like, sub, share, all that kind of crap. And I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye bye.